Hi, my name is Austin Rausch. I'm the makeup manager at House of Torment, and uh, we do a lot of stuff here at House of Torment. We put a lot of awesome full prosthetics on actors, uh, but today I'm going to show you guys how to do something that you can do at home. It's really simple. When you're doing a burn, you want to get a good sort of uh, base coat of latex on there. And you can kind of see I've used this a while. It gets kind of chunky in there after it dries, but that's not a big deal. You actually kind of want a little bit of texture in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread a thin layer of latex on the side of Ryan's face. You want to be careful not to get hair in it because if you do that, it's going to hurt when you try to pull it off because it does adhere to the hair and it will hurt. I'm applying the second layer. As you can kind of tell, it's gotten clear. You can't really see any of the latex anymore. That's when you know that it's dry, is that it's become clear or sort of more uh, like a skin color instead of this white pasty pink. So I'm just going to apply another layer, keeping in mind not to get her hair in it. Just evenly spreading this out. You want to make it thinner at the edges because that's what makes it look like it's actually your skin is you have this blended out edge here. So the burn's now ready to kind of start working with here. Probably wondering how it becomes a burn when it's just a couple layers of latex. Um, it's a really cool process and it's really easy. And after you have your couple layers and they're dry, you take your tweezers and you start picking at it. Be careful not to pinch the person's face. You just want to get a little bit of the latex and you want to start pulling at it. Does that hurt? Mm -mm. See? And basically what you're going to do is you're going to pull it. And it's going to create, you're actually pulling it off. And you want to open up a hole in it and start pulling the edges out. That looks like it ought to hurt. <laughs> it's basically yeah. just kind of pinching and folding the skin because it's already adhered to it. And because you haven't set the liquid latex after it's dried, it's sticky, so it'll stick to itself. And this is kind of like what'll happen around burns is you'll get that shrinkage. But in other areas, I'm gonna try and get like a bigger hole here. Oh, I have this little hole here. And so I'm just kinda gonna pull the edges out and her actual skin is going to come through there. And that is going to be like the fresh skin underneath of the burn part. And you can, you can kind of roll it out. And it's always good to have research pictures, by the way. Um, a lot of people try to jump in and do this without looking at anything, um, but it's always good to have pictures of what you want because you can replicate it and most people learn by imitating so so I'm starting another hole here and kind of attaching it to the other one pulling it apart creating a sort of lip here um, but I'm gonna start going in there and creating this sort of red burned look here on her actual face shading is very important because you don't want it to look 2d you want it to look very dimensional. So you get the darker edges, you get your shadows there, you can go into all these other places that you have pinches and pulls. A good uh, rule of thumb is if you want it to look fresh, you want to use skin tones and reds. Um, if you want it to look like it's decayed, you want to use browns and greens and things that uh, would come after an infection. So think about pus. Think about things like that. Look up pictures if you can, if you aren't squeamish. So once you have that basic uh, red on there, I go in with a darker kind of reddish brown color. And I just start making the shadows deeper here. good rule of thumb with makeup like this is less is more. You don't want to overdo it because you want uh, lighter stuff to come through. A lot of people kind of like put a whole bunch on and expect it to look good, but it won't because you're not getting the highlights and the shadows and things like that. 
I noticed that this particular liquid latex is uh, not too far off from her skin tone. Uh, if you're African American mm -hmm. or Hispanic or anything like that, are there different shades of liquid latex? Um, you know, you can mix liquid latex with uh, paint, um, just acrylic paint, and it will create a color that you want. But what I recommend doing is just having the liquid latex on there and then covering it with a base color. So her face is pretty close to what the liquid latex is, but if she were African American or if she were Mexican American, I would probably pick a base color and then cover the entire thing with a color that matched her face to match it first. So if you're a woman, whatever makeup base you would normally exactly. use for foundation would be fine. Exactly. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you wanted to use, if you wanted to make it look like charred or bruised, you obviously want to go with a darker black sort of color. So you can go in there and kind of create little charred sort of burns here. So now it's really starting to look like she has a third degree burn. Like somebody threw some hot scalding cooking oil on her face or something. And so there you are. In 15 minutes, you can go from a gorgeous complexion to looking like you've got a third degree burn using nothing but liquid latex, powder, makeup, and a couple of paintbrushes.